Hello, my name is Phil and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space, where I bring you a video on the Nukaleve, requested by Mr. Kieran Gould. So the Nukaleve is a demon from Orcadian mythology, which is folklore and beliefs individual to the Orkney Isles off the coast of Scotland. This creature is a combination of horse and man, though there is some inconsistency on how these features are combined with some accounts saying that it looks more like a centaur from Greek mythology, whereas others say it looks more like the Tiplang from Filipino folklore. However, the image that has become most commonly associated with the Nukaleve comes from a supposed encounter with an inhabitant of the Orkney Isles, Tomas. According to Tomas, the Nukaleve has a man's torso attached to a horse's back, as if it were a rider. The male torso has no legs, but arms that can reach the ground. The head is also far too large for its emaciated frame, causing it to roll back and forth. As for the lower equine part of the body, it also has a head. This equine head exudes toxic vapours, and has a single great eye that burns like a red flame. But the most grotesque detail is that the Nukaleve has no skin, making black blood coursing through yellow veins clearly visible. But no matter what people describe, it is not the Nukaleve's true form, as it is primarily a sea-dwelling creature, only taking this horseman hybrid form on land, and no one knows what form it takes in the sea. In fact, the Nukaleve only comes onto land to wither crops and sicken livestock, or to attack those that disrespect the sea. As the Nukaleve is a sea creature, it is not like fresh running water, and will not even come onto land if it is raining. This aversion also makes escape relatively easy if pursued by the Nukaleve, as all someone would have to do is cross a stream or running water and the creature will stop dead in its tracks. So this is a very strange mythological beast, but we can piece together some of its origins, as like most myths from the Orkney Isles, it is a combination of the beliefs of all the people and cultures that have inhabited the land over time, with its equine qualities and connection to the sea, drawing strong comparisons to the Celtic Kelpie, as well as other creatures from Norse mythology. As for the Nukaleve's name, the Nuk part is believed to be a corruption of the name Nick, with Old Nick being a name for the Christian devil. So I find Orcadian mythology fascinating, as it is such a melting pot of different cultures, so I'll be sure to cover more in the future. But for now, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the comment section and on Twitter.